Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. A look at the top stories we're following. It's Juneteenth today. Happy Juneteenth. Mid-Michigan celebrating with a few events. In Flint, the city is launching fireworks from Chevy Commons tonight. The city is marking five years of Juneteenth as a municipal holiday. Showtime begins around dusk, which is about 9.45-10. In Midland, Creative 360 is hosting a block party on Jefferson Avenue. There's food and enter entertainment at that is free from 2 to 5. And at Island Park in Mount Pleasant, CMU will have guest speakers, community organizations with info tables, arts and crafts and food trucks, and that's at 4. A community is holding a vigil tonight after a teen was killed and another was hurt during a crash in Clio. It happened around 2.30 Monday afternoon on Field Road. Now, investigators say the driver lost control on the train tracks, and while trying to get control, the car went to the right, crashed into a tree, and people there were rescuing both 16-year-old boys before the car caught fire. Well, the passenger later died at the hospital. The driver's condition, according to the principal, is being operated, um, observed, and tested on. The vigils at 8 o'clock at Clio City Park. Midland Miracle Field needs buddies for special needs athletes or athletes with special needs for the Miracle League. Volunteers work one on one with athletes as they field and bat and run, allowing parents and caretakers to cheer from the bleachers. Each game's about a uh, an hour, and there's usually two to four games a day. Sign up through our hot links section to be a buddy. It's a first alert weather day. Here's first alert meteorologist Matthew Monjo. Thank you, Blake. Yeah, for today, we have a first alert weather day as more excessive heat is on the way for this afternoon. Heat index value should peak between around 95 and 100 degrees. Highs today up to around 94, even some isolated 95 degree readings coming in. We've seen a downward trend in temps for Thursday and for parts of your Friday, too. Overall, though, Thursday, by the time we head into tomorrow, a bit more the usual level of summer warmth that we see across mid Michigan. Highs tomorrow ranging from the upper 70s all the way up to about the middle 80s, but then on the immediate at shoreline actually only seen some low to mid 70s. This is thanks to a northeasterly wind that develops tonight and holds during the daytime. Tomorrow we have pulled back the first alert weather day as a result for that. For today, though, we do have a marginal risk around Duran, Flint, Fenton, Grand Blanc, and Lapeer for some pop up showers and thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side. More so just that microburst chance again, where the very heavy downpours have some gusty winds associated with them. It's again an afternoon chance that we see that overnight could see a few more spotty sprinkles hanging around and even on Thursday, a few more pop up showers in the afternoon. So really this shower chance pattern hasn't really changed much since the start of the week. Going towards the weekend, though, Saturday will warm back up 91 coming in for Saturday. So we are keeping a close eye on those temperatures with the more 80 Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Overall, a bit more up and down with temps later on in that 7 day forecast, but overall feeling much like summer, especially with the first day of summer coming in tomorrow. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.